Hello, my name is Ed Bachtel and I'm a solutions architect from Equinix. I'm going to go over today how to do Google Cloud Interconnect through the ECX portal. First, we're going to go down the navigation menu, down to hybrid connectivity, and select Interconnect. We're going to select Partner Interconnect and continue. In this case, Equinix is going to be the service provider. So you're going to select, I already have a service provider. In this example, we're going to create a single VLAN. Select Continue. Select your VPC network. Select your region. In this case, I'm going to use US West 1. And then either select an existing cloud router you have or create a new one. We'll make a new one for this. And then give a friendly VLAN attachment name. Select create. All right, this step generates a pairing key. This pairing key ends in a number and that number designates what zone you're going to be using for this interconnection. Select the copy. And we're not going to pre-activate v these VLAN attachments. You see the status here, waiting for service provider. At this point, we're going to go over to the ECX portal and continue from there. Once you're logged into the ECX portal, let's go create a virtual connection. Select Create Connection. Scroll down until you see Google Cloud Platform. Select. And scroll down. These are the various service profiles set up for Google Cloud. We want Google Cloud Partner Interconnect. And in this case, we want Zone 2. Click Create Connection. This gives us steps that we're going to be going through. Let's start creating this connection. On this page, we're going to select our source and destination ports. The source in this case will be Silicon Valley. Destination will also be Silicon Valley. Scroll down. We're going to pick the port that we're going to be using. And then next. Scrolling back up, we're going to put in a connection name and put in a VLAN. You can go anywhere from 2 up to 4,092. We're going to paste the Google pairing key that we had from earlier. Purchase order number is optional. In this case, we're only going to select a 50 meg speed. And then next. Here you can look at the design summary. Make sure all your settings are correct before you OK it. You can add additional notification email addresses. Then select Submit Your Order. Let's verify everything is looking good on the GCP side. Select Refresh. And we should see Activation Needed now. We're going to go ahead and click on Activate and Accept. Then the status updates to BGP configuration needed. Click on Configure BGP and put in the ASN number for your on-premise router. And then select Save and Continue. Once you have put in your BGP information on the Google Cloud side, Come over to this document, Configuring On-Premises Routers, to complete your configuration for your router so that you can connect to GCI. That concludes this video.